What's that? A teleporter that stands out. It looks like some kind of device. Please come inside. Yeah, dude, you know what we should do after arriving on a mysterious planet? We should follow the mysterious voice that may or may not have a trap set up to kill us. Who are you? I mean no harm. Just go on inside the transporter. Everything will be revealed to you. He means us no harm. He must be a good fellow. I'm really glad Claude has the same thinking as me. <laughs> Let's try it. Reina? It's all right. There's something about his voice. I feel like we can trust it. What is that supposed to mean, girl? What are you talking about? It's not like things can get any worse if we go. I say we try it. You don't know that. Here goes. Okay, majority rules. So we must go inside. Where is this? I don't know. Yep, just what I figured. Well, might as well get out. Transporter room. Yo, my levels are high, dude. 45 on Claude, 44 on Reyna. Pretty pog. Hi. I have been waiting for you. That was your voice before. It was. I am the one who brought you here. My name is Nall. I serve as the mayor of the Centropolis. Yo, you know Nall from Lunar? Or maybe you are Null, maybe you're like a secret white dragon in disguise. The Centropolis? We... we are on Need, aren't we? Oh, this is Need, all right. The Centropolis is one of Need's largest cities. I don't think it's an active, like, confirmed theory. Maybe anyone who's watching the playthrough or something who's played Star Ocean before can confirm or let me know if I'm on the right track. In Star Ocean 4, the final planet in the game called EN2, I'm pretty sure there's a place called like Centropolis or something, or something similar to Centropolis. And I was, I, I'm pretty sure someone said that EN2 stands for en Energy Need 2. And the reason why I'm thinking this is a true theory and this is like, this should be confirmed, is because in Energy, in, in EN2, Stab the Sword of Justice plays as the battle theme in the dungeons. So it's it's a running theory, I think, that EN2 from Star Ocean 4 is like an evolved form, or not an evolved form, but a previous version of Energy Need, which is the planet we're on now, obviously. I don't know if that's like a, a confirmed thing, but that's what I've heard, and honestly, I can kind of believe it. So, do you people have any idea why you're here on need right now? No, I don't have any idea what's going on here. 
We were fighting these strange men on top of a tower in Eluria. The next thing we knew, we were here. You were probably teleported here with those men when they took themselves to need. Who the hell were those guys? A group that we call the Ten Wise Men. Before I explain who they are, I must tell you of the mistakes that have haunted Need's past. Dusty, welcome to the stream. How you doing? About 3.7 billion years ago, Need was a planet. What, you're saying Need's not a planet right now? Dude, maybe this will connect to Starship 4, because Starship 4 happens before the first one. Meaning what? It's a planet now, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying! The need of today isn't a planet at all. What we stand on today is better known as energy need. An artificial planet enveloped in a high energy field. Sure. Sure, dude. Oh, that must be what my dad called the high energy mass. 3.7 billion years ago, Planet Expel did not even exist in space. Even at that time, the people of Need had vast knowledge of magic science, on a level no other planet could come close to matching. As a result, Need was able to gain control of every planet in the galaxy. But Need didn't rule by force. The records claim it was a model of economic cooperation, almost a living utopia. But even in this near utopia, there live those with evil minds. They call themselves the Ten Wise Men. They were uninterested in interplanetary cooperation. They wanted the entire galaxy under their iron fists. The ten fanatical madmen began their conquest by first seizing control of Need with their staggering powers. One by one, Need's cities fell under the sheer force of their attack. Anyone who refused loyalty to their regime was ruthlessly murdered. They showed pity to no one, not even women and children. The Needian armed forces mustered everything they had, but they were completely routed by the overwhelming power of the wise men. Their rampage across the planet, however, did not last long. The Needian army summoned up their remaining power, and they fought back fiercely. After weeks of desperate fighting, they finally succeeded in defeating the Ten Wise Men. As their punishment, the Ten Wise Men were exiled to Eternity Space, a prison from which there can never be any exit. The war was a complete victory for the Needian forces. And in the process, the Needians finally opened their eyes to the extent of the power they had wielded all this time. Even if we never asked for it, we had the technological ability to rule over the entire universe right at our fingertips. If the Ten Wise Men ever came back to haunt us, Need would be engulfed in total war yet again. Nobody wanted this, of course. After a lengthy conference, the world-renowned Dr. Lantis offered a solution that everyone accepted. We opted to seal away our powers, to put an end to the progress that we had achieved. Planet Need was destroyed by the hands of the very Needians who lived there. And so it was that the entire population relocated to energy need, ensconced safely in its high energy field. 
The energy that covers this planet exists to forbid any access to or from foreign space. With it, we are totally cut off from the rest of the universe. You know the rest of the story. The ten wise men escaped from their banishment into eternity space. How they managed to escape, and how they managed to break into Planet Expel, is a mystery to us. But the facts are plain for anyone to see. They are out of eternity space, and they have landed on need once again. And their goal is nothing less than complete domination of the galaxy. So those... those were the ten wise men. Yes, there were ten of them. Yes. They are led by the all-powerful Gabriel, with the cunning Lucifer serving as their military advisor. Under them are the remaining eight wise men, which are in turn led by Michael. They are madmen, and they are to be feared. You can find out more about them in the library's database, if you're interested. Okay. Uh, Gabriel, I believe his name is Indalesio in the PS1 version. I believe Lucifer is Cyril? Cyril? Something like that. C-Y something in the PS1 version. Lucifer, I like that name more. Gabriel is fine as a name. The real reason I preferred Indalesio, though, was because there's already a Gabriel Celeste. I feel like it's really redundant to have the leader of the wise men be the same name as the celestial being that is Gabriel Celeste, the post-game boss in, like, basically every Star Ocean game. So, because of that, I think Indelesio's the better name than Gabriel, because having two Gabriels in Star Ocean is just pretty, you know, pretty, pretty weird to me. Michael, I don't remember his name. It might- is he Vesper or Dex? He might be Vesper or Dex. He might be the fire dude, I think. I don't recall who Michael's original name was. But it was probably better in the PS1 version, whatever it was. Also, people in chat are saying the thing about the EN2 energy need is a fan theory. That's what I figured. I think a lot of people connected things about the two games and were like, oh, this could be possible. But um, I don't think Triace or Square Enix actually confirmed it was true. But... Also, it's been a really long time since I played Star Ocean 4, so maybe when I do that Redux playthrough, I'll make more connections with it. Didn't you notice when they came back to this planet? We did. But the moment Expel's orbit first became erratic, it was already too late to do anything. So why did you bring us here anyway? Because you have the potential. It was Dex. Okay, I knew it was Vesper or Dex. What do you mean? As we speak, the Ten Wise Men are preparing to take over the galaxy. And they're starting with energy need. But we simply don't have the power we once had. The power that banished them to another dimension long ago. Dude, I just realized something. I would not have known this before. I played SMT5 and SMT Nocturne and Persona. Metatron, Lucifer, Gabriel, Michael. They're all demons from SMT. That is crazy. What if all of the Ten Wise Men, at least in the PSP version, are based on demons from SMT? Probably not, that's not their goal, but... They line up with demons from SMT. That is crazy. I just realized that. So basically, you want us to help you out. That's right. The powers that we and the Ten Wise Men have are identical. Neither side can come out on top. What we need is a different kind of power. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna see what the other wise men's are, wise men name are, because I don't remember all the. Again, I remember more of the original names than the new names, and I don't want chat to say it. I want to like re-experience them as we play the game. A different kind of power. What do you think? I think we have no choice. We're already here, after all. 
If the Ten Wise Men want to take over the galaxy, then they'll come after Expel sooner or later. No complaints from me. Sounds good, then. Thank you so much. By the way, we are going to go to... There's a library you can actually read about the Ten Wise Men. I will be doing that. I'm sorry to be blunt, but there isn't a moment to lose. I want to act swiftly and decisively. What should we do, though? The first thing you'll want is a mode of transportation to get you around need. Isn't that what the transporters are for? Those are installed only at our main government buildings. For everything else, we use flying symbological creatures known as Synards. Yeah, Synards are, um... Synards are, uh, that's a different spelling. Synards? If you travel north of the Centropolis, you'll arrive at North City. They have a Synard breeding farm called The Home up there. I'm sure anyone there can point you to it. Also, there is the library that I mentioned earlier. You'll find a wealth of knowledge about Need's history and technology inside. Thank you, sir. I'd say it's time to visit North City, then. Reyna! How did you know my name? I have something to discuss with you, privately. Could you stay behind for just a moment? Sure. I wonder what Rain is talking about in there. We probably shouldn't be thinking about it. I suppose so. Raina's about to face up to herself for the first time in her life. This isn't something we can really help her out with. I'm really glad I played off topic, but not not really off topic because they said it. I'm glad I played SMT games and played this again because like I would have never caught on. I never caught on the when I played Second Evolution the other two times, I have never touched an SMT game. I probably never even touched a Persona game. So I never picked up on that, but I am really glad I was able to be like, oh yeah, that's a little thing, the naming they're based on, which is kind of neat. Claude. Ah, I apologize for keeping you. Oh, not at all. I had best return to my duties, then. Sorry I kept you waiting. You didn't take that long. Reyna, listen. Hmm? Uh... I'm alright. Reyna? Let's go. I need to find my answers. Right. We're heading for North City first, right? That's straight due north of the Centropolis, I think. Oh, dude, I love... This is like... Because I talked about, like, again, Starshin 2's plot, it's not gonna win any rewards, like, it's not, like, amazing or anything, but I do think this is one of the best... Star Ocean plots, and that's kind of sad because, you know, Star Ocean doesn't really have good plots, and this plot's not even all it. I actually love this part of the game. I love everything on Energy Need much more than everything on Expel. So, the stuff in Energy Need, again, still not quite like, oh, storytelling perfection. It is really, really neat, though. It is what makes me at least like the story. Just like the positioning, like the wise men's role in the story, not so much them as villains, but like their role in the story is really neat. If you want somebody to look at your manuscript, go look to that guy over there. I've been streaming for three hours. My word. But yeah, next major part of the game, we're on another planet, which, you know, no surprise, we're in like another major arc of Star Ocean 2.